Have you ever imagined what life would be like on a deserted island? There is a group of people who not only imagined it, but actually lived it. This is Tremelin Island, the island of abandoned slaves. And this is the scene of struggle of more than 15 years to survive in the middle of the ocean. Unlike TV shows where people receive cash prizes to stay on deserted islands, these people have no economic motivation. The source of motivation is survival itself. And the reality here is very different from fiction, actually. The vast majority of people who struggle to survive on deserted islands do not survive at all. This island is located in the Indian Ocean, close to Madagascar, about 450 kilometers away. It's called Tromelan, a small island, and it's in fact French territory. France has several islands and territories scattered around the world. And the most famous and well-known part of France is, of course, the mainland, and its metropolitan area. The most relevant part is divided into 96 departments of similar sizes. However, there are also five departments outside of Europe that are politically similar. Two of them are in the Caribbean Sea, Martinique and Guadeloupe. And there is also one of the France's largest territories outside of Europe, French Guiana. The other two French departments are located around the island of Madagascar. To the west is Mayotte. And to the east is the island of Réunion. In the Americas, you will find Saint-Pierre and Miquelon, next to the Canadian island of Newfoundland. There are many other French domains around the globe. But to the south, we have saint Barthélemy and saint Martin. Although in saint Martin, France occupies only half of the island. The other half is occupied by the Netherlands. The rest of the territories are on the opposite side of the globe, in Oceania. Here we have Wallis and Futuna, a group of three islands located between Fiji and Tuvalu. And a little more famous is French Polynesia, also in Oceania. New Caledonia is also a French territory located in Oceania. Some of these territories have their own laws and government, but all of them are in some way dependent on France. Even though some of these territories have held referendums for independence, the majority of their populations have chosen to remain dependent on France. Even after all that, there are still French territories left to be mentioned. The rest are grouped as the French Southern and Antarctic lands. Often just presented with the acronym, it's an overseas territory of France consisting of five districts with an area of over 400,000 square kilometers. Almost all the islands were discovered and claimed by France during the 19th century. There are islands in the Indian Ocean like St. Peter and Amsterdam, Crozet and Kerguelen. And finally, the group of scattered islands, which is five. Bassas da India, Europa, Juan de Nova and Gloriosas. Now that we have seen how many French islands there are, let's get back to Tremelan. Currently, about 15 French soldiers live on the island and guard it. This small island has been subject of much controversy, such as the claims of Mauritius, which believe they have the rights over this territory. This event occurred due to a treaty made in 1814 between France and the United Kingdom. In this agreement, France ceded the Mauritius Islands and its dependencies to the United Kingdom. But Tremelin is not mentioned in this treaty, leaving it open to interpretation. However, France believes Tremelin was never included in this agreement. There is a meteorological station on the island, which studies the activity of the region, such as intense tropical cyclones that are common in the area. Tremelin also has a small airstrip that is used only by authorized personnel. It's mainly for small planes, and it's used to supply food and other provisions, and to rotate the staff working there. The construction of this airstrip has changed the nature of the place somewhat. Before its construction, reaching the islands was quite complicated due to the coral reefs that obstructed the passage of ships and hindered the landing by sea. And it was precisely because of these corals that an unbelievable shipwreck happened. In November 1760, a ship set sail from France with approximately 140 crew members. Their destination was the Mauritius Islands, but before that, they decided to stop in Madagascar. During that time, it was common to anchor the ship in strategic locations for shopping before continuing the trip. But they decided to buy slaves, and in that purchase, they acquired 160 slaves. It's worth noting that slavery was only abolished in France in 1848. The ship continued its journey, perhaps with far more crew members than its maximum capacity allowed. And as they passed by Tremelin, the worst happened. Strong winds blew that day, and they were blown directly toward the small island. The ship's hull collided with the coral reefs, 
and due to the speed they were traveling and the weight of the ship, the hull ruptured. And so, seawater began to flood the ship. Many of the slaves were confined to the lower part of the ship, which quickly flooded. Unable to escape and chained, they had to watch the water take away their lives, without being able to do anything. It's believed that approximately 80 slaves survived this accident, in addition to the more than 120 crew members who were already on the ship before the purchase of the slaves. They became castaways on Tromelan, which was also known as the Island of Sand. Surviving there was a very difficult task, as the small territory had almost nothing. It was practically covered in sand with very little vegetation. Natural resources were scarce, and the sea was the only source of sustenance for this unlikely group of castaways. These people, who considered themselves much better and superior to the slaves, would now have to work alongside them to try to survive. On the island, there was no drinkable water and few chances of obtaining food. And so, a sad tale of survival began, one that lasted 15 long years. The French and the slaves were able to retrieve some provisions from the ship's stock. This allowed them to have food and a few barrels of fresh water. However, social divisions prevailed, and the crew members refused to share their resources with the slaves. They insisted that all the food should be for them, and the slaves would receive nothing. As a result, the slaves that had better survival skills needed to provide for themselves while the French relied on the ship's resources. This arrangement lasted for several months, during which many of them lost their lives in the harsh struggle for survival. After weeks of hard work, they built a smaller ship using the remnants of the original one. Two months after their shipwreck, they managed to set sail with an improvised vessel, heading towards Madagascar. However, the slaves were left behind. The reason for this was that the new ship was too small for all the crew members, so only the French were able to leave the island. The slaves purchased in Madagascar were left behind, with only a promise that they would be retrieved one day. But that promise was never fulfilled. After a few days at sea, they were able to reach their destination. Happy to have saved their own lives, they showed no interest in attempting to rescue the slaves left behind. During this time, France was in the middle of a war against England, known as the Seven Years' War. All of France's resources and attention were focused solely on the war. The abandoned slaves on the small deserted island had to fight with all their might to survive in such a challenging place. Recently, a group of archaeologists conducted an in-depth study of the region to try to understand how the slaves managed to survive for so long. Among their findings, they concluded that many of the structures and tools made at the time were created from the remnants of the original ship. All the ship's utensils were reused, including large copper basins. These containers were positioned to collect rainwater, ensuring another day of survival. As the months passed, the slaves became increasingly skilled in fishing and survival techniques. After all, surviving in such an empty and lifeless place was highly improbable, but they continued to defy the odds. For a long time, the new population of the island lit large fires in an attempt to be seen by passing ships and finally be rescued from that place. In Tremelan, there are no trees, only low shrubs, which were of little use. So, they had to dismantle the remains of the ship and let its wood dry before it was ready to be burned. But this unlikely life went even further. Using part of the boat, such as chains and ropes, the abandoned slaves created bracelets, necklaces, and other accessories. Over time, their diet evolved to include birds, eggs, turtles, and fish. And for a human to survive anywhere, they need good shelter. So, they built stone houses using materials collected from the sea. They stacked stones and coral remains to create true cave-like shelters. They lived there and could shelter from the cold and constant rains of the region. About 15 years later, a ship finally decided to visit the island. The captain of the ship was Jacques-Marie Boudin de Tromelan. And because he was Captain Tromelan, the island inherited its name. After those 15 long years, more than 100 slaves had been reduced to just 7 adults and an 8-month-old baby. The baby was obviously born on the island under harsh conditions, but was able to survive and grow. When the abandoned slaves were finally rescued by Captain Tromelan, they were taken to the Mauritius Islands, where they finally received their freedom. They were considered free people after enduring extreme survival and long suffering. The story is known as one of the most extreme survival cases in history. 
And despite France having many territories around the world, it faces a significant demographic change. There is a strip in France that runs through the entire country and is virtually uninhabited. Now, I leave you with this video that explains why this part of France is empty. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you next time!